Welcome back, behavior analysts, behavior scientists, and those who just want to understand behavior. Today, we're going to go over my top 11 signs that someone is a fake friend. Just want to let you know that these top 11 signs that someone's a fake friend are not necessarily based on behavioral science at all. They're based on my own personal experience and I feel that I have to share them with you for many years of making mistakes with friends. The number one first sign that someone's a fake friend is that they often will take very sensitive information that you've given them. You, you may have exposed your, your heart and soul to them about something very sensitive and then when they're not happy with you or when they're mad at you, they end up using it against you. So what I, I think about when I, was, when I was younger, I was real sensitive and about being adopted. And I said to, to a, a fake friend, one might call him a frenemy. <laughs> I said to a fake friend one time that I was adopted and I'm a little bit uncomfortable about certain things because I didn't, at the time, I didn't know all of my ethnicities and what my background and heritage was. So the friend listened to it and you know was, was real sensitive. But then when he was upset with me, when we were in public, I still remember it. I had a visceral reaction that my alleged friend said to me in front of a group of people. He said, you're, you're a half breed. And that kind of hit me where it hurt. The second sign someone may be a fake friend is that they tend to talk you out of opportunities. Things that are really good opportunities for you to develop as a professional, as a person, maybe to push new limits and try to go for a promotion or a new job or anything that pushes the envelope for you to, to be successful. Uh, a fake friend will often try to discourage you from doing that. Anything that will improve your situation in life, they feel somewhat threatened by that and your fake friend may try to talk you out of it. The third sign that you may have a fake friend is that the person will not celebrate your achievements. So as soon as you're really happy about something and you're pumped up about it, suddenly that person has nothing to say to you. They don't encourage you. They don't say nice job or no reinforcement. So for some reason they come from a, a mindset where there's a lack of abundance. So they think somehow your success and your achievement takes away from their situation and they don't realize that life is full of abundance and just because one person's successful doesn't mean that another person has to have something less or that they're a failure. Now, my fourth sign that someone may be a fake friend is that they only criticize you and they try to make it seem as though they're trying to help you but they criticize all of your actions and yet they don't ever once point out one thing that they can compliment you on. So, especially if, if the person's a behavior analyst, if they're truly trying to bring out the best in you as a person, they're going to identify things that they think you're doing really well and they're going to provide you with positive reinforcement. However, if the person is just constantly criticizing you, often that happens when someone is online and they're criticizing and they're like what I like to call a keyboard activist. Now, the fifth signal that someone may be a fake disingenuous friend is that for some reason, they only contact you when they want something. So, you know, when I was younger, I remember that I had a car. I was a freshman in college at West Virginia University. And I had this one friend that I thought was really cool. And I always wanted to hang around him. But for some reason, the only time he reached out to me to hang out was when I was going to give him a ride. Often fake friends only reach out to you when they want something. The sixth sign that someone may be a fake friend is that they blame or criticize you in front of people. So when you're, when you're in a group of people, a fake friend may actually start criticizing you in front of the group and never say those things to you privately. So if they truly cared about, you know, making you a better person or had your best interest at heart and they were very genuine, they would tell you these things in private. The seventh sign that someone may be a fake friend is that for some reason they act one way which you're comfortable with when you're alone one-on-one -on -one, interacting with the frenemy and then when you get in front of a group of people and you're together in a group they drastically change how they act because they're pandering to the other people 
and they're, they're ha they have a whole different personality s suddenly. So that's a sign that someone might be a fake friend. They act totally different when they're in a group than when they're with you alone. My eighth indication that someone might be a fake friend is that they basically only have superficial conversations with you. That they say things are like, how's the weather? How are you? And then, you know, they're talking about very superficial on the surface things. They never sit down and actually ask you how you really are. Or they might ask you how you're doing and then you actually start to tell them and they just gloss over it and talk about themselves. My ninth sign that someone could be a fake friend is that they suddenly cancel something they were gonna do with you as soon as something better comes along for them in their eyes. So in other words, you know, one little hack where you can kind of figure that out is you have a friend that sets up a time to hang out with you and then they actually come up with some reason to cancel and then you're scrolling through their Instagram or their, or their Snapchat and suddenly you see them out with other people. So they were being disingenuous and you found out that they had something better to do than hang with you. Now my 10th signal that someone could be a fake friend is that they try to tempt you with engaging in things that are not good for you. So they know what your, your bad habits are, they know what your pain points are, and they, they tend to encourage you to do things that they know are not good for you and things that you know are not good for you. So for example, uh, you have a friend that knows that you have a real important meeting on Monday morning but on Sunday night, they keep encouraging you to have more and more drinks and do shots of tequila, and they know that it's gonna be hard for you to make it to your important meeting tomorrow, that could be a fake friend. My 11th sign that someone could be a fake friend is that when you disagree about something, all of a sudden they ghost you and they're not around. So just because you have a disagreement with someone and you have differing opinions and you talk it through, doesn't mean that they should suddenly cut you off and ghost you and not talk to you at all. And since you stuck around, I want to throw out a little gem, my, my last final one. The twelfth sign that someone could be a fake friend, and this one's really important, they talk to you and they gossip about other people, including your friends. So you can know it's very likely they're gossiping about you. Now, one little behavior hack, you can try to sniff out the people that are gossipers and that like drama that might be talking about you behind your back is tell them some sort of secret that they think is private and something that really won't hurt you and it doesn't really matter if it gets out but give them some sort of information tell them that it's secretive and private and then talk to the people closest to them and find out if they disclose that information that's that's a behavior hack to figure out if someone is trustworthy or not. Thanks for tuning in for my 11 ways you can determine if someone might be a fake friend. Again, this is not based on behavior analysis. It's my personal experience through losing many friends and uh, people that I thought were friends. If you really like what we're doing, you know, hit the uh, subscribe button and the thumbs up and then the little bell icon. If you can hit that, you'll get notifications of future videos.